Hey everybody, Justin with VMP here. We built this awesome table to show you how an ice tank works, particularly the new VMP ice tank. And I'm, I'm hesitating for a second because you really only need this if you have this. So we're gonna show you everything. All right, so the first thing is superchargers make heat. You gotta circulate water through them to cool off that hot air. It's just physics, when you compress air, it gets hot. So all the drag racers and the street performance enthusiasts, they're just crazy about getting the air as cool as possible. And one way to do that is with ice. And you gotta have some place to put that ice. So we developed this VMP ice tank and all the associated stuff to install it in your car. But uh, we figured we'd build this awesome table just to show you like the circuitry, the loop, the water takes and everything. So if you remember our past videos, cars with this, they have a heat exchanger and they usually have like a little bottle up here. And that's gonna be like your basic system. They're gonna have a pump too. This is your more advanced system over here cause you got a big tank, seven gallons. You got a big intercooler pump and uh, you got really big lines. We built this setup with one inch lines for maximum potential flow. All of this right here, you know, basically the ice tank allows you to create your own atmosphere. It's like 60 here in Florida today, but it's not always like that. Sometimes it's 90 or 95. And if you can add a bag of ice to your intercooler system, you can keep those temperatures more in line with a cold day than a really hot day. And that helps drag racers get better numbers at the track and make their car more consistent because you could be doing heads up racing, which is just all out how fast you can go, or you could be doing bracket racing where the car has to run the same number every time. Let me walk you through this from the back to the front. First thing here, we've got a reservoir of water, seven gallons to be exact. We've got a pump into the pump out here up to the supercharger. So when you're running ice, the perfect scenario, the most ideal scenario is to run the cold water into the intercooler cores first. And of course, this is an Odin lid. It's got dual intercooler cores. There's actually a method to the madness here. You wanna put the cold water in the bottom, let the hot water come out the top. And now you're gonna run the hot water to a heat exchanger. It's gonna cool it down. It's gonna go back out and pop right back into the tank. We're just running straight water right now. We'll throw some ice in here in a minute for fun, but this is the basics of a supercharger setup with an ice tank and a heat exchanger. There's many different combinations you can potentially run, but this is the most common because this can be street driven and then this can be tracked and some ice thrown in the tank for that little bit of extra edge to keep you winning. If you wanna learn more about VMP's cooling offerings, including our trunk mounted ice tank, check out the links in the descriptions. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys next time.